What's going on everyone? You're watching RD Motoring and today I'm going to review five things that I hate about my 2021 Buick Enclave Avenir. Before we begin, I'd really appreciate if you all tap that like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that, let's jump right into it. We're going to start in the back with the electric folding seats. You would think this would be a great feature, but... In order for the rear seats to fold down flat, the middle row cannot be all the way back. Now, I don't know about you, but my passengers usually want the most amount of space possible, which means the middle seating is always all the way back. So then you have to come up here and manually pull the seats forward in order to give the third row enough space to fold down. Moving up to the middle row for the second thing I hate, and that's the fact that only on the passenger side seat do you have this lever to easily access the third row. It's just not on the other side at all. Now I know most of the time anyone with kids who's going into the third row will just move between the seats. Or if the car is parked on the side of the road, people will most likely want to enter from the curb side in order to avoid walking out near traffic. But what about every other time? What about when the car is parked in a parking lot or a driveway? To me, this just seems like obvious cost cutting when it wouldn't have hurt to give both sides the same feature. Time for number three, and that's the sunroof shades. The Buick Enclave has two separate sunroofs for the driver and passenger, as well as the second row occupants. My main issue with them is that the shades aren't power operated. If someone opened their rear shade, never closed it, and then I'm driving around by myself, there's no way just to hit a button to close it. You have to find somewhere to pull over and stop if you want to close or open that shade. In addition to the fact that they're not power operated, they just feel cheap and flimsy. When you want to open them, you just push up on this little tab, which sounds like you're snapping something plastic, and then you have to guide it backwards or else it will just fling open. And when you're driving down the road with the windows down, the shade isn't attached on the side, so it just kind of flaps in the wind. I really like having two sunroofs, but I just think the functionality of these shades could have been designed a bit better. Moving into the driver's seat for number four and five. Number four is this electronic shifter. When I first got into this car, it honestly took me a while to figure out how it works. Once I drove the car more, I did eventually get used to it, but it still trips me up sometimes. Basically, you have to push this side button and pull back to go into drive. If you wanted to go in reverse, you have to push that same button, go forward and to the left, push this button on top for park, or just push the side button again and go forward once to get into neutral. Now here's where it gets tricky. If you're already in reverse, if you wanted to go straight from reverse to drive, you don't have to push the side button. You can just come straight back. Same thing if going from drive to reverse. You just push it forward and to the left. No need to push the side button. There's also a low gear you can engage if you're in drive. If you just pull it back once, you're in low, but you can't push it forward again to get back in the drive. You have to pull it back again to get it back in the drive. And then again, push the P, then you're in park. Shifters have fundamentally been the same for decades, and I'm not saying I don't want change, but when that change abruptly happens, it's gonna be difficult for some people to adapt. I will admit, it's still better than buttons or a dial, and since it's electronic, it opens up the bottom of the console for some extra storage, which is pretty helpful. And finally, the fifth thing I hate about the Buick Enclave Avenir is this wood trim on the steering wheel. This is only available on the Avenir trim, and while it may look cool to some people, I'm gonna argue that it just messes with the comfort and functionality of the wheel. First and foremost, this section being wood means it doesn't not heat up when the heated steering wheel is turned on. So being that it's currently winter, it's very annoying every morning when one section of the wheel is freezing to touch. The other reason why I don't like the wood trim is that it occasionally disrupts everyday driving. When coming out of a turn and letting the steering wheel slide through my hand to straighten out, going from leather to wood then to leather again is just a bit uncomfortable and it makes the motion slightly more awkward. And that's the five things I hate about my Buick Avenir. If you enjoyed the video, again, I'd really appreciate you tapping that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe as I post a new video every week. Take care, everyone. Thank you.